and again, it looks like they're just going to try for the retake. You imagine conventional wisdom says this should go in favor of Envy, but you can never count this new Gen G roster out, especially with Sean in the lineup, rocking that frenzy, but he's not going to be around <laughs> for very long. That frenzy's not going to sink. The Spectres are mowing through uh, Gen G here as they're down to three members left, and the spike is ticking as well. Simo, this is a tough ask for this Gen G squad. Yeah, they're still going to try their best, but sometimes when you try your best, take. Uh, often you'll find yourself, Sean, maybe the last player standing, has to clutch things out. And speaking of the devil, he finds the first pick with a headshot. Envy, lack of weaponry or la lack of desirable weaponry, are starting to try to push onto the site. Sean gonna find one. As Scoot will trade him out down to the 3v4, but Lux nails up above. He's gonna find two most down the third alongside player one. And Genji forced the retake. I love what we're seeing out of Envy here. We saw heavy hit A twice, then we saw heavy hit B. Now. They're playing this far more slowly. They have a little bit more presence around mid, and they haven't fully pulled the trigger on anything yet. Without Envy a lot more, because the flash came through there from Gimon, but I don't think he was able to flash anyone. Oh. Now they'll start to come through. Caboose has got the showstopper. I'm a little bit afraid for you, but he oh, no! Gimon will find him. Will he find the second back site? No, he will not. Finesse. No more exactly that. Take him down. Now it's a 2v4 with Envy up on number. Spike planted. That, should, <laughs> that shouldn't have happened, and it works out for Envy. They're able to get the spike down uh, anyway, but food's going to drop as well. Sean is able to take him out with the Spectre, drop things down to a 3v2 in favor of Envy. The spike is down. Genji looks like they're going to be trying to, they're going to, excuse me, try to be pushing in from a couple of different angles. Player one is going to get the first interaction. He is going to be able to take out Crash. He's just going to even things up into a 2v2. You hear the showstopper has been used this time from Sean to see if he's able to have better success. And while it wasn't as egregious of a miss, it was a miss nonetheless. Drop things down to a 1v1. Mummy gets it in the face. The Sean's able to take him out with the Spectre. Genji nodded up at two. Well, I mean, going into this, Sean was the player on the team that was able to cut towards the A site. That's unfortunately the incorrect call. Yeah, we'll see if player one, player one just needs to stay alive here. If he can get a trade, that's great. He was able to get one, gets taken out. But now the onus is going to be on Genji to pull all of their resources back once again into a retake situation where, unfortunately, they're outnumbered. Also worth noting, Simo, you called it at the beginning of the round. Envy's on a soft buy here. So this is, this is a big round for them to win. Aw, oh, Caboose. We've seen so much from Caboose in prior tournaments, especially... His performances at the Pop Flash Tournament, the last Ignition Series pit stop. Now, once again, here he is. Qualifier ready to swing in from the heaven side. Genji pushing in, but yeah, guess who was behind you all along? He still sees oh, no. one, but Sean has no Not idea. I don't landing. really know why he's pre-firing that. His teammate had the angle there, but now it went all down to him. He's going to at least take out Kaboos have only played one map uh, for split each. We're seeing another heavy hit onto A again, but this time there is a ton keeping them at bay. As you see the guns, you see the smokes, the utility, it's everything that's keeping Envy down. They've already dropped two members left. You hear the show soccer has been used, but Mikhail comes in with the soccer punch. Hits him on the blind side, takes care of FNS. Sean is still going to be holding things down up in heaven. Now Envy could rotate out, and it looks like it's exactly what they've done. But the utility on B gives him away. They know that's where he is. You presume the spike has gone there as well. You hear food started planting, but it's actually rotated away. He has not gotten the spike down yet. He covers himself with the smoke. I find that very interesting. Finesse was waiting for Sean to jump out with the showstopper. And it's kind of like he was playing grounders on a playground, you know? He was just with his eyes closed, walking into screens. And of course, there was somebody on the opposite side waiting for him. Crash, he's going to be looking for oh. another opportunity to actually help out food with a with a red carpet that's rolled out in heaven. Player one, alongside Sean, are going to be holding this angle. Well, food swings. He's not even going to find a single player. Neural Theft, Genji really want to secure the round. They don't want to let any heroics happen on the left. empty side. As Crash, is looking for exactly that. Here's the peak from Wynn, almost yeah. loses the op there and his head. The game, there are two ops, one on each side uh, here in this round. We saw Wynn obviously has one as well. Nice. Oh, and the op battle goes in favor of Wynn. We were just highlighting him. Mummy gets taken out. Numbers advantage, Gen G. It's a good early pick here as well. We've been looking at these fast sight hits for Envy. I'd imagine there's a world where Wynn can't handle uh, a brute force push on towards the A site. He might find a pick, he might miss. It just depends on the circumstance. But considering Envy play this a little bit slow, so slower, Win has the opportunity to really just make magic work. He will eventually get taken out. The numbers is still in favor of Genji, but Envy are looking to even that out. 
now <laughs> rotating from the heaven side. Demon will help with the pick onto Caboose. The red I carpet's about to be rolled out because they want to secure this round. But Demon, he cancels. Thirty Spike's seconds. Spike's still left. not planted, and Gen G are in the area. They got to work out here for Envy. There's that rolling thunder that you called, but Food didn't get one. Give him the third on the round as he knows exactly where the last player on Gen G is. They're just going to smoke up and buy time. You don't have to play this aggressively. And again, on Gen G. It's just Sean. Sean, the new addition to the roster. Left. What kind of heroics do you have? He's going to blast back his way in, but he only has oh. 11 health. Not even going to get a chance to fire his gun. His food takes an L. They have weaponry. They have everything they want. And right now, if they do opt to go for the B site, they're going to have numbers as well as Genji only have two. They do have a player playing back in site. Sean, unfortunately, blinded. Left. Can see the light, but can no longer see his friends as he's taken down. Envy have a huge number of advantage on the round. Two Fight players remaining here for Gen G. And if this is going to be, you know, anything like the rounds previous, I'd imagine they'd be either looking for exits or looking for the save. They've got great weapons in hands, assault rifles on both sides, disadvantage. No, and that easily could have gone the other way, right? Caboose to, to have gotten up as far as he did on that flank. Uh, could have proven to be disastrous, but again, Genji was able to win it. It looks like Envy is going to flood onto the side as two members left. of theirs have already dropped. Who is able to trade one back out, however, as Mame drops with the operator. It looks like it's going to be a thrifty remaining. round win for Genji, what? unless Food can do something about it. But ladies and gentlemen, already on a 4K. The time runs out, but not without fireworks. Finesse will pay attention to how he's deciding to play this out because we do have player one playing contact towards the garage side. We do have support from Sean up above. He gets a great angle. He could try to mow him down. The paranoia is going to temporarily blind him. But now as they start to swing, he's flash. He's got a hive. But they don't Turn around. Oh, you'll still find a mummy with the slice and the dice. Three on the round. Spike beam plants. Gen G now in a very disadvantageous position. Have to retake the site. Mummy still has the operator, still has the blade storm as well, and you want I mean, you you go for it, right? Roll the die, it's gonna be the last round of the half. No reason to keep anything. We'll see if they're able to pull something off. Mikhail's get immediately gonna get tagged up by the tripwire and the additional CC from Breach. Gonna try to reposition, but look at how aggressively Mummy can play this with the blade storm just in the smoke. Oh, Mikael. Mikael's able to get one. Guimon gets one as well. Guimon with the third, or excuse me, with the second. He's going to use the Rolling Thunder and push things out as Envy's just down to one member left, and it's Food. Who else but Food? He is able to get the 1v1 win and get them the last round and have Envy up. These specters that they're bringing into this thing here, so we'll see. If, the thing is, Simo, if Envy is able to win this one too, that severely hurts Genji. That's so unfortunate there for Caboose. Fault line, he's trying to get into a corner to save himself. He does have Mame ditch him entirely, but he still has the angle in towards the garage. This first peak is likely going to be a good one. I expect them to smoke the top side. Uh, there's really no reason to, to smoke this unless they don't want this contact point with the op. Um, we'll see how they do end up playing it for Genji. They're all stacked up as four. They've got player one slowly rotating back around as he set up some of his utility on the A side. Now as the flash comes through, it doesn't quite connect with Mame. He'll be able to back off this first pick off the win. That's got to hurt. Sean now going to be pushing forward with the flashback. He can find a pick here. Oh it's going to be God. Finesse gets it. Close range. Oh, goodness. Two on the round. Down to the 2v3. Something, and they need to do something fast. Uh. It's all down to one. He's not got his friends beside him. He's all on his lonesome. Kimon will fall, and Envy will win three in a row. So odds heavily stacked against Gen G on this round. It looks like Envy has spotted where the push is going to be coming in. Go through mail room, and wow. Gen G are doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Win with the classic makes it sing, but they're not out of the woodworks quite yet. They may have the numbers advantage, but the spike is not down, and they're still an op in the hands of Mummy. Oh, he's gone. Caboose 30 will take him left. out. Now it's the 3v3. That operator that they managed to sneak away from Envy will be down behind enemy territory. Now it's the 3v3. We'll see how they force play this out. Player 1 has upgraded to a weapon that he managed to find up there in heaven. The two picks that they were able to collect. Now Envy still need to worry about this retake. We haven't seen them yet in this particular situation as they've just started playing the defense. Now they start to push through Caboose there with the showstopper. Perfect oh. shot! Right on to Mikael. Player one, the last player standing. Blink rolls to the turret. Cannot convert there onto Crashies. Nevertheless, a close round against Envy when they were down and out on weapons. And, and again, I apologize. And the thing is, when you're down as far as you are, you cannot afford any mistakes. Wing goes in, and that's not a mistake. He's able to take out food. And that's an important member to note here for Envy. The clutch factor is out of commission. Mame 
does have the ability to participate in that as well as he's trying to peek out there with the op, but he gets pushed away. Genji, they just pull back. They're still a little undecided. Maybe you're going to re-engage here temporarily. But for Envy, they're still holding fast on this A side. Three members strong. One player off towards the B side. It's Caboose. He's holding things down, and he's going to shortly meet up with Gimond if he decides to, to push up aggressively. But no, well, he's just going to back away. See, so the thing is, Genji made a bunch of noise on A, and then they stopped. You presume that that means they're rotating Lucky over site. back to I the other site. Out. But Envy hasn't moved. There's the showstopper. Mummy's able to get yet another pick with the op. Wind goes in aggressively. But it, on the opposite side, crashes. He's able to get two. Sean and Mikael are taken out. Wind still has that blade storm, but he is now severely outnumbered in a 4v2. Envy in firm control. <sighs> Started off. That's oh gonna gosh. be a beautiful start. What do you mean? Left. Started off hot. He's gonna find three on the round. Now it's a two v two. Gen G started hot. Envy nullified, and now it's down to the two v two. Oh, Unfortunately, in enemy territory, that's gonna be the red carpet Anybody that's rolled out. They got blade storms for days. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. The slice of dice goes on to win. Down to one final player. Gen G get that spike down. Again, a reminder that Gen G just dropped their first map the entire tournament. Now they're fighting for their lives as they find themselves on, on series point down 1-0 in this best of three. Looks like they're going to try to hit on to A. They still 30 seconds personnel. left. Genji is a little bit weaker. You saw a win took a good bit of damage, but with 30 seconds left on the clock, they have for all intents and purposes committed onto this site. But it's not hot and heavy. It's not aggressive. They're doing so quietly now, and we know that they're there and shot from the side is able to get one and it's gonna get traded out however is Envy Mo through them it's gonna drop down to a 3v2 Genji excuse me Gen G, 10 not Gen seconds B, left. Gen G needs to get the spike down soon yeah so unfortunate there for Mikael down to one final player player one is gonna start to push and he's jumping out of the smoke almost finds that pick onto crashies but that is a is Gen G to be a, a bit less dimensional than they would like yeah it's hexadecimal that's the word that you're looking for Ah, uh, yes, multiple multiple options as we see enemy have multiple options for dispatching there on the site but guess who's there finesse holding down this is actually looking not too shabby here for genji usually on a round like this for the conversion you want at least three members alive so that the economy balances out in the round oh, to follow but i think for the last <laughs> player remaining here he's gonna be in a little bit of a tougher spot we talked a little bit about clutches genji in the hands of Mikael. Single piece of the puzzle. They left everything exactly where it was so that they would not over, uh, excuse me, over. I'm left. really impressed with Envy's patience here, but player one manages to get over onto A, and it looks like the rest of Genji is going to follow. First blood of the round in favor of Genji, but of course, it's traded right back out. I like how they're playing this. They're pushing it towards the true room. They only Spike find planted. a trade, though, and now it's the 3v3 Genji. They've got site control when playing close towards the site itself. Now they'll start to come in towards the top. I like Finesse. He's always that late round lurk that you need. And now he's going to start to make his way from a main itself. So now 3v3 time is ticking. Spike is ticking. They've got angles set up. They're looking towards the tree room. But I don't think they anticipate Finesse coming in from the long side. We'll see now as they're waiting for those seconds to tick ever so slightly. They're starting to push in. They've got a player coming up. They'll trade one for one down to the 2v2. If they want to defuse the spike, they need to get involved. Down to the crash. Genji have held down the site down to the 1v1. Playing behind the box. Crash, he's trying to escape Genji. Plenty of options here. Holy smokes. It's a spike. 30 seconds left. Like hops on over, throws it right over the buildings. That's an amazing. So they, they use the ultimate there from Genji to try to gather information on the A site. NV read this correctly. They're prepared, exactly but not prepared way. enough. Sean finding the early pick. Down to three. As Mame with the collapse, baby. Finds two. Food converts down to two players. Ten Genji, seconds they left. They gotta get on the site and plant that spike. Wind finds a pick there onto food. Five seconds remaining. They don't have time to plant. Yeah, they're gonna try though but they plant not Spike at the plant. default plant spot to get it down down to the 2v2 knives are out here from wind but he can't convert into a frag down to the 2v2 still as nv now are forced into the retakes of course, the smoke is going to go up owl drone going to spot out wind temporarily but now mummy has got an op of his own if wind peeks out of the door there Find himself in a little bit of a deadly situation. That's the trade. Now it's down to the 1v1. They don't know where he is. There's the TP for Mame. He's going to get himself into a little bit of a different situation. Grabs the Vandal, but Wynn's got those knives ready. Going to get it to half here. Starting to come through. Down to the 1v1. Classic in hand, but Mame will find the shot, find the frag, and find the tie here. 3-3. Three three. Why change it?
That's an unfortunate smoke as well for Envy. They try to deny that vision towards the courtyard. They even close the door on the way out. But the fact that they had the, the Owl Drone already pushing forward, it does not bode well. But now Envy is trying to get a little bit more involved as they start to push in towards the main. Mikael holds fast, holds him down, and it does look like Envy. Well, at least find one here with the boost down to the 3v4. Spike will be planted. Envy on this eco round are still interested in trying to bring the issue over to Genji. Well, they're on an eco. They don't have much to lose. You can argue maybe they pick up a couple of weapons on the way. Well, there's only one uh, from Genji that's even available. Sean is able to take out a finesse, and he bunny hops his way across the site, gets info, and manages to get away with his life. So what they Ooh. want to do is take away Mummy's op, but Sean is not able to do so. Mummy gives him the business right in the jaw and takes him out. Genji's just down to three members left, and worth noting that oh, Mikael is weak. Mummy does it go through, did not see the rest of them, but you assume that based off the gunfire, people have followed. Caboose is still sitting here. He has not swung. He's so patient. All right, there he goes. He spots one. He's right behind Gumon. He's going to see everything. He's able to get one. Give him a second. Looking for a third. He's going to reposition. And it's actually one, Mummy who gets the third. Wind's going to trade it back out. Caboose is still there. And Envy rip Genji apart the flank. They're able to do so. Now the question is, can they continue that success? Last time it was Caboose who had an know. angle. This time it's FNS. And FNS is able oh, to get one. Give him goodness. a second as well. And again, a sucker punch from these guys that's just causing fits for Genji. They still are able to at least trade it out blow for blow. A lot of utility was spent there in the courtyard, but now they at least will have the spike and will likely look towards this A side. But once again, Caboose, baby, what are you doing? You in the position, and Genji will see if they snuff this out or if they're going to go through the old fashioned way up the catwalk through the tree room. Caboose will be in a great position to flank back 30 seconds the A side. Left. On the flip side, you've got these late round players, Crashies, Mame, and Caboose. If I'm Genji, I'm holding fast. Sean has the Empress available, but he is certainly worse for wear. About 40% health. The clock is going down as well. They're going to have to get the spike left. down soon. Now they know. Actually, he tapped it. He has not put that thing down, but he's going to have to do so now. But the problem is he's running out of time. It looks like they're just going to have to play for frags. And Envy just gets the heck out of Dodge. They don't have to fight that. It might have been either... Um, Sean and Mikael, they really like that Hunter's Fury, but what what really comes into the hands of Gen.G is ripped right out by Envy. Mummy finding an early pick, not looking so good for Gen.G. Gen.G Gen at a numbers disadvantage in the last round of the half. Surely they want to try to knot this thing up at six. You see the From the Shadows used from Envy to try to get some info, and he got shot out as, as soon as he started to channel that thing. So they have a good idea of where things are going to be. You see that the Cypher on the side of Envy, FNS, is starting to rotate over as that, that seems to be where the hit is going to be. Genji working their way up through B main. Have not pulled the trigger yet, but it is inevitable. You see the blinds and the smokes have been used as well as Envy tries to hunker down on the back of the side. Now the resources, the reinforcements from Envy start to rotate over, but Genji should be able to get onto the site anyway, at least for now. But Crashy, again, in the back, is able to get one. Come on, trades it back out. It's just going to be a straight-up 3v3. Now the reinforcements. Now the cavalry has arrived, and Genji finally are able to get the spike down. Simo, a 3v2 for the site. Envy's just down to one, and it's Caboose. No mummy, no operator. Round win for Genji. And we tie us up here. Sick better on the defense. Dude is going to start off here with a early pick, and that is important to note. Genji... Trying to hold on, but the right spike's here. already been planted, and now spike they're forced planted. to retake. Not everyone is able to get those fresh new Jordans on the first day of school. We do see Crashies with a ghost. Did not partake in, in buying some of those expensive items, and we'll see now how Envy hold on to this site take with the man advantage. Genji slowly starting to work their way in. And it looks like they have a, a decent idea of where some of the members of NBR and they're just getting mowed down. Food was able to get one. It looks like the gamble to buy up is certainly paying off. Crashies gets up close and personal, but it's Sean who's able to win that out. Win gets one as well. Genji's just down to two members left. The spike continues to tick and it may not have been pretty. It may have been off of a gamble, but the force pays off. Envy steal around from Genji. Yeah, and Genji are still trying to make it expensive. That's why they were. But they're also going to be so well off financially that it, it is really difficult 
for Gen G to pull something off. We'll see if they're going to be able to fend off the insulting aggressive push that's coming out of MB onto that A site. You hear the red back was used by Food. He got tagged up a little bit, not able to deal any damage, but some information was gained. Player one sitting down in hell, looking over that site, was able to get one as Crashies gets dropped. Four left on the side of Genji, and of course, as I say that, it gets traded out, but Wynn's able to win a very important kill. Player gets one as well. Player one, excuse me, gets one as well. Genji respond. Genji anticipating heavier presence towards the A site. We have Empress for Empress pop the spray through the wall, but it's a spray through the dome from player one as he sprays away. John is ready. He's trying to spray through, but it's Empress for Empress traded away. Envy with the man advantage, but it's quickly nullified. Down to just 3 Food just trying to get a little bit of food for his own stomach. The heal back up to full. As now they'll have control of the site, spike down Genji in the retake. There is the Hunter's Fury on the side of Envy, so keep that in mind. Mame is able to punish Win for going aggressive there as he's able to get one through the smoke. Genji just down to two members left, and unfortunately, the Omen is certainly worse for wear. It looks like Genji is just going to back off. Envy should be able to take a one-round lead here. The question is, can Genji keep their weapons? Ooh, what? The name of the game, Mame! Holy smoke, Mikael! Now the last one standing, trying to break through. And now he's down to 46 HP. We talk about these 1v many scenarios. Mikael definitely does not have to push on. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Win does have an op, but the new zone versus the Tucker has been using Crash. He's just able to take care of Gumon as he continues to struggle. Mikael is able to get one, however, as Envy get onto the site, it looks like they're going to be able to get the spike down with relative ease as well. Genji oh, once no. again outgunned, outnumbered, and in an uncomfortable situation. Yeah, they broke open onto that side effectively. And Genji, you know, you look at Gimon, he was trying to put himself in a position to get a fat paranoia. But the only thing that was fat was this bloated dead body on the ground after they were at, managed to swing back onto him. That paranoia, unfortunately, <laughs> unsuccessful. Genji now in a little bit of an exit scenario. They don't really care about the mix. They don't really care about Mame. Holy smokes down to Sean. If there's anyone I want in these one scenarios, Tim, but unfortunately the click runs dry as Sahara Desert, but it gets re-energized Sean with one. Now gonna be starting to push in. He's trying to find frags. There's one time is made. There's the shot down to the 1v1. Sean, holy smoke! Now food takes him down. But they have already done to an uncomfortable position, and NV will just continue to catapult round after round. But look at this late round here for Crash. He's, he's gonna be able to push in the smoke there. Uh, sorry, the Molotov on the ground a little bit tough to push through, but they push through nonetheless. Paranoia on the back of the site, but it's Crashies from behind. He was hiding by the pizza shop, taking a quick slice, and he'll take a quick for all of these teams. Oh, well, what's important is Gen G have started off with two early picks, which bodes well for them. Envy will have to see what they can do with their small militia here, 300 up against the strong Persian army here of Gen G. We'll see if they can hold down Leonidas. But they get a lot of space here, pushing in towards the defender spawn. See what that angle looks like. Mame definitely has got a juicy angle as he finds Sean. An important factor to note is out of position, but they're dividing and they're conquering. Unfortunately, they got to worry about when he finds the, the transfer there, but it's a 2v3 with Mummy and Crash. He's very doable here. We come both into hell. It's shot out. So they know that there's a player left. playing down. The stock bolt's going to push him out. He takes the damage. He takes the paranoia. Very beautiful execution. And now it's a 2v2. You did not expect this round to unfold this way. Certainly not. And the problem is for Gen G. Mummy's still alive, and Mummy has like 35,000 kills or something insane like that. The guy's just been out of control this entire map. So it's already a difficult situation. Then you factor in that, and it's it's things don't look good for Gen G. But if there was ever a time for heroics, if there was ever a time for miracles, it's now to extend this series, to push it to game three, and to not get eliminated. I love how patiently Envy are playing this. They're just going to be playing off of the site. They know exactly where the spike has been planted too, so they can peek and fire into the hit exactly through the smoke where the spike is going to be. Mikhail tapped it and then one forced him back off. Player one gets taken out. They're running. They're going for him, but Mummy takes him out. Mummy 